All right, here's a quick update on the Army Painter Speed Paint project. I've gone through, I have five different orcs here that we're going to be speed painting, and I got the skin done on all of them. And so I want to just kind of run you through here. We have a, a new model that you might not have seen in uh, the previous videos. So we have uh, this guy. This guy's the guy that we painted in the last video, uh, the whole video of me painting him, so you get to see all the steps, or you can fast forward or whatever. But here's um, uh, Army Painter Matt White Primer. And so I got a little touch-up to do on him, that'll be another video, but just kind of seeing how uh, with the um, speed paint dry, it really is, a, it's a paint and shade in one. So that's uh, not too bad, it's looking pretty good. Good detail on the face, got to get his teeth there, and then again, touch-ups for them. I was all maybe a little carefuler with some of these other guys. So this is the uh, Citadel Gray Seer. I have them all labeled on the bottom. Uh, his teeth I've got not so speed painted, but I might have to touch up the green on his face a little bit, or actually on his arms. So I noticed the Citadel Gray Seer. I'm gonna keep shaking the camera there. Noticed on the Citadel Gray Seer, it uh, seemed to be pulling away into those recesses a lot more on this primer. So that's kind of an interesting difference, maybe, compared to the, the Army Painter uh, White Primer. I feel like it didn't sink as much into the recesses and pull away as well. So Primer is definitely um, playing a role here. We're going to kind of see exactly what that role is as we continue this experiment. Here is this guy. This guy is... um. The Death Guard Green. So this is Citadel Death Guard Green. And you can see it pulled away into those recesses quite a bit there. It's looking pretty glossy in there. So I've had these guys drying for a little while. Uh, but we'll see if that actually maybe dries a little more. I don't know. I can't imagine it would be still wet. But we'll see. This is the Hardware Store uh, 2X. I think it's a Rust-Oleum product. And... Uh, it's really great for coverage and spraying, and actually, I'm surprised the contrast is going on there pretty well. Again, it's sinking in those recesses pretty good. I might have to try painting over the, the guy that was primed white. Maybe my technique was slightly different or something. These guys all, I painted them in a batch. This is our new contender. This is Army Painter Brush On Primer, so I am actually using this Brush On Primer with the speed paint and I gotta say that's feasible like that works you can absolutely uh, do that now the thing we're gonna see though is these colors have been working good for the green so death guard green and we're putting green over it you know not so big of a stretch right uh, the army painter brush on primer and we're putting green over it yeah not too bad Right? I mean, it's a nice, uh, fairly light gray. This darker gray, I'm wondering, the green speed paint is really uh, opaque. It's, uh, it covers very well. In fact, as I was painting it on, that's, uh, here's, it is right here, this orc skin. As I was painting this on to these miniatures, it was definitely covering over that undercoat and not letting a lot kind of shine through. And so I'm wondering, as we get into some of these other colors, how that will behave. But of course, that will be the topic of another video. So I wanted to at least get out a uh, quick uh, update on this so you know how the project's coming along. I am releasing these videos kind of as I film them. So as there's progress on this project, you're going to be seeing these. So for example, it is uh, Tuesday today as I'm filming this and I'm going to be putting it out for you uh, here you're going to see this either uh, probably on Thursday you're probably going to see this on Thursday so I'm going to try to do updates on Tuesdays Thursdays and if I have an update on Saturday uh, for the foreseeable future if you don't see an update I haven't made any progress so I'm just kind of painting these guys as I get them but there you go one last look there there's that uh, arc skin contrast over these different primers. I like to think it's looking pretty good. Really happy with this one. We'll see how the others do on the future for these models. The um, 
last guy here, the new guy to the show, you might have noticed, he um, is a little bit different than the others. These are all my Orc Shooter Boys that I've been using for this project. But I ran out of Shooter Boys that were needing painted, and so this guy uh, with his slug and choppa, oh well, it'll work. I'm not sad about it. Anyways, hope this update was helpful to you. Again, uh, let me know what you'd like to see with these speed paints. I'm going to try to keep these videos coming until I run out of ideas. Thanks for watching. Take care.